We certainly know that COVID-19 has hit hardest at some of our most vulnerable populations, including those who are economically not well off or who are medically fragile. Chef Wayne Johnson from Fair Start has been on the front lines of the response in Seattle, feeding thousands of people in our community. We had a chance to speak with him. Our team's been really resilient. Uh, one of the things that, that happened was when COVID hit, um, as a lot of restaurants get shipped on our restaurants, shipped on our cafes, and within a day's time, we pivot and started doing uh, emergency meals for the city, the county. Um, obviously, we continue to do the shelters as well as the school district. It's amazing. And the emergency meals obviously serve people at their deepest time of need. How many of those have you been able to create and distribute? A couple. Somewhere around nine, ten thousand 10,000 meals a day go out of our four kitchens. Wow. I mean, how do you do that? How do you even make that pivot from what you were doing to, okay, whomp, we're gonna do this other project and, and make that many meals? You know, I would, I would really have to take my hat off to our chefs and all our cooks in our kitchen to be able to just um, understand like, you know, one pattern of, you know, obviously the restaurants did a certain style of cooking, our, our um, shelter team did a different kind of cooking. And we were able to just like pull together our, our menu and kind of align it so that we will do on a rotating two to three week menu throughout all our operations. And then that way we were able to actually uh, consolidate food and utilize um, um, product from distributors and food lifelines to actually make these meals possible. That's incredible. Uh, now you partnered with other groups and organizations. Tell me a bit about all these folks who came together to support this effort. Yeah, it's been really, I mean, just you used the word a while ago, out of the park. We really had teams from all over the city. Um, we have First and Goal working with us to put out meals. We're right now working with uh, Gramando, helping us put out some meals. Um, Eduardo Jordan and his team have been put out some meals as well as um, uh, Taylor Wong. And she also, they actually uh, have allowed us to uh, utilize some space because obviously when you start doing that many meals, the kitchen doesn't get any bigger. So we need a space to like, uh, keep the food cold, uh, get food dropped off by all these distributors. We're talking pallets and pallets. Um, the other day we had 33,000 pounds of produce come in that we had to store, process, and then turn into meals. Um, is it ever overwhelming or have you been able to look at all of that and just say, I'm going to find a way? It's funny because I was just saying the other day to one of the chefs, I go, Whatever you do, don't think about it in totality. <laughs> think about it as this area is doing sandwiches, this area is doing bagging, this area is doing fleet. So that way, when you chunk it down a little bit, it's not so overwhelming. You can kind of get your arms around it a little bit. That sounds like good advice. Do you have any idea how many people have received meals? Um, right now, we've hit, since COVID started, we've hit the 700,000 point just a couple of days ago. That is just amazing. And I'm sure a lot of people are, I'm sorry. I was going to say, considering last year, we did about a, a million meals. We're at 700,000 just from the beginning of March to now. So we're putting some meals out. That's amazing. I mean, it really is. That blows my mind. And I know people are going to want to support the mission. How can we be part of what you're doing and help you feed people? You know, probably the best way to do it is go to fairstarts.org and then hit the C19 button. And that will help us with our funding, help us continue to feed people, help us to keep staff on. I mean, we, we run about 100, 110 people a day trying to do all these meals. So, uh, yeah, uh, any help we can get, fairstart.org is the place to go. You definitely deserve it. And I know that food's important to you. People are important to you. Community's important to you. What has it been like to be part of something that is so basic and meaningful to people who are going through a tough time? You no, know, the one thing that's really rewarding is actually seeing not just our team, but to get the response back from people that have received some of these meals. It's just heartwarming to be able to open up a letter and read the story while these guys are out on the floor prepping and putting food together it, because, you know, we were a training program. So what kind of drove that was having our students to be able to train them and 
bring them from a state of homelessness or poverty into actually having a, a job. And now it's like just rewarding knowing that people need food. There's food being um, distributed, but people can't process it. So we're, we're able to fill that void, which is really rewarding. We thank you so much for the work you do all the time and especially now, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna to wanna to help. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Margaret, I appreciate it. Have a great day. Be safe. Yes, you too. I love talking with him, I really do. Fair Start is always looking for donations and for volunteers, and you can find more information about that on our website.